So I'm here in Pittsburgh, New Hampshire, at the border with Canada. Let me just kind of pan around so you can see what I'm looking at here. Uh, here we are. This is the uh, port of entry, the official checkpoint. And I remember uh, a short time ago, in October of 2023, Vivek Ramaswamy was up here and he noted that there was a hiking trail sign right next to the official port of entry. And he went and started to hike here with the media following him, uh, implying that you could easily just walk along or around the official port of entry and either go into Canada or cross into the United States. And I was going to fact check Ramaswamy to see if that was actually true. Remember, it's now been two years since I visited Eagle Pass in Texas and also uh, in uh, Big Bend. I went down to the border, went all length tree, went to the border many times in 2022, August of 2022. So we're trying to do the northern border this year. Most of the illegal activity in the Swanton sector that this is, is occurs over by Lake Champlain, New York, Vermont area, because it's directly south of Montreal. But want to see if perhaps there's vulnerability here in northern New Hampshire. Let's go take a look. Let's see if we go hike on this trail. All right, so we're just making our way across what they literally call the border trail, and that's the border station in the background. I can kind of see my car way down there, but it's just this trail literally right along this path, this swath where they cut the trees that represents the border. Hey, look, we came across our first benchmark. There it is right there. That's Canada. That's Canada right there. And I'm in the United States. I'm in Canada, I'm in the United States. Now we're really not that far from the checkpoint, but it's mountainous. And if someone crossed here, it's kind of like a tree falling in the woods if there's no one there to hear. And there's a lot of controversy about whether or not there's actually people or how many or how few or if any are actually crossing here because <laughs> only the law abiding people go to the checkpoint. Anybody else that wants to cross, well, I just showed you how they can cross. Uh, and there's, <laughs> there's no one out here. And even if they picked up somebody on a camera, by the time they hike way up here uh, from the checkpoint, they're probably going to be long gone into the woods, especially if they have help. The trail is definitely steep. Well, it's not that bad, but it's, it's not flat. Now we are about a half a mile from the station and uh, I have now come across the first trail that leads to Canada, clearly. Um, right here, this is going north to Canada. And as you can see, it's marked privately. And there's your trail right here. So this is some type of private property. There you go. And that's Canada. There's no fence. There's no wall. There's no nothing. And if you got out of your car like a half a mile before the checkpoint, made your way through the woods here, you could easily make it into the United States. Uh, especially if you had uh, the northern equivalent of a guide or a coyote to help you make this last probably only mile, two miles. Maybe you took a flight from Algeria to Quebec City and all you had to do was hike through the woods for a couple of miles that would seem like totally doable because that's the United States right there. We are on this trail, which crosses over the boundary multiple times. In fact, my phone told me I was in Canada and there's a couple of benchmarks here where clearly you, you accidentally cross into Canada a couple of times, just inadvertently as you're on this path. All right, so we made it to Fourth Connecticut. I feel like whispering because it's just so beautiful here. We made it to Fourth Connecticut Lake. Wow, it's gorgeous. And that right there is the beginning, the first trickle of the Connecticut River. It actually starts right here and heads 
south all the way to Long Island Sound, starting right here. It's it's uh, a fantastically beautiful spot. Wow, what a great hike. Uh, but I guess Ramaswamy was right. If you put some significant effort into it, you can absolutely, unfortunately, bypass the official port of entry, which you can do actually in lots of places across the United States. These ports of entry really only stop people that are law-abiding and don't want to be detected. All right, so from Pittsburgh, New Hampshire, uh, the great north woods of New Hampshire, I'm John F. Gately. Talk to you next time. We'll keep you posted. Bye-bye.